Hello everyone, welcome to Chinese NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to continue our Quacamoni lab. So we're going to create connections. In previous lab, we already done the deployment using Potainer. Now we're going to quickly create the connections for our Quacamoni deployment. I already setting up following lab machines for us to create connection to. We were gonna have four RDP sessions, three for Windows from Windows 10 to Windows 2016, 2022 to our Ubuntu ROM XRDP machine. Also, we're gonna have two Linux machines to use username, password login also using private key login. Again, all those steps have been recorded in my blog post, which you will find the link below. Check it out. If there's any question, let me know. I will try my best to answer it. Now, let's start it. As mentioned, I have six machines Four of them we're gonna use RTP protocol to log in. They are three Windows machine from Windows 10, 2016, 2022 to Ubuntu machine with X RTP software installed. You can find out uh, my previous video regarding how to install those virtual machines, how to get the uh, Windows 10 LTSC version installed on your Oracle Cloud free tier VPS. You will find the videos from here. I have using MSTSC Microsoft RTP client to connect to most of them. As you can see, three of them Windows, RTP Windows has been opened. I'm gonna quickly open one to show you using the MSTSC connecting to 2038.2.12 connect this warning message is critical for our settings the certificate is not from a trusted certifying authority for the most of the people we don't have our own CA we don't have our own RDP certificate installed so we will get this warning message it's critical when you set up Guacamole connections. So let's log in now. So you should be able to see the Windows desktop. This is Windows 2016, Windows 2022, data center version 2016. This is Linux. And then we can check a terminal. So XRDP, um, regarding how to set those virtual machines up, you can see my previous videos about that. And I also have Windows 10 machine set up. It's a Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. I'm using DD to install it on the Oracle Cloud Platform free tier virtual machine. Now I'm gonna close them since um, I'm gonna using Guacamole to create connection. So I logged in as admin and right now the connection is completely empty. I'm gonna create a couple groups, put the machines on those groups. I'm gonna set up a multiple connection allowed. So two groups, one for Linux. And now we're going to create connection. Let's look at our IP address list here, Linux machine. I'm going to using Linux first. So let's create a Linux RDP session from Guacamole. And we're going to put it into a Linux. I'm going to name it at Ubuntu XRDP machine 
is this first one and we're gonna use an RDP protocol there are some limits you can put in here load balancing if you have it and another guacamole proxy we don't have all those just skip all those sections directly go to network section host name part we are using IP address if you are DNS then you can put the DNS name for me it's simple to put the IP address port 3389 typical RTP port of course now you need to put the IP username password in if you didn't put it you will get the error message there to say invalid login login isn't correct check your username password something like that but now we know that username RDP user the password just put in here that's it then you can create a session save it first one then we can go back to our home page of a guacamole desktop uh, you open to xrdp-1 here so click on it right away you are in so we can play some videos and the uh, voice sound support is amazing you can hear it from my background i can make it louder so that's one so that's a very simple one so we can quit from here so it's still running in the background you can close it simple 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 just put the name of your session and the ip address port username password done so let's follow ubuntu non desktop xrdp protocol now let's do windows so we can create a windows connection The window connection let's do the same way we copy IP we're gonna create a session new connection actually let's go to win this is 2022 don't forget put into the windows group and choose to the RDP protocol same thing on the parameters network parameter host name is IP address port 3389 so I'm gonna put the password in here. Now, same as uh, we did for the Linux RDP, let's see how it goes. So this time we got an error message to say the remote desktop server is currently unreachable. So we need to connect the system admin to see what's going on. As I mentioned in previous RTP session using Windows client MSTSC, so there's a certificate warning there. So that's what I'm saying. There's a small changes we need to make. We need to pay attention to that certificate warning message. Ignore server certificate. When you check this one, now let's try it again. Go to Helm, Windows 2022. It works. After you check the option Ignore Server Certificate, now RDP session works well. So same thing, we're gonna do others, Windows 10 and Windows 2016. We're gonna create a new session. Choose Ignore Server Certificate and save. So we already did the 2022, 2016. We can clone the session. You don't have to enter everything. 
we're going to do Windows 10. We only need to change the IP address. Okay. So we created four RTP sessions. So let's uh, give it a try. So we already tested the Windows 2022 and Ubuntu XRDP. We're going to try 2016. No issue at all. Gonna try Windows 10. While it's running, we can bring up Windows 2022 as well. So this is Windows 2022. This is Windows 2016. So all of them are working without problem. So we have tested the Windows and the Linux RTP connections. So now we're gonna try SSH connection to Linux using username, password, or private key. Username, password, it's very straightforward. Go to connection, create a new one. Let's name it you can use SSH protocol and put into the Linux folder. Network port twenty two. You may want to put the username password in here to do the authentication since we are using username password. So we're gonna save it. Linux one SSH username. Go back to home. Connect to it. Right away we are in. That's a very straightforward to do. Um, how about private key? It's getting complicated for a private key since we need to convert the private key format from a party format to pen format. By the way, Guacamole only support pen format private key. So let's uh, start into creating a new Linux connection using private key. Same thing, we're gonna put it in Linux. We're gonna name it uh, Linux SSH private key. It's gonna use in SSH protocol parameters for network host name, it's gonna be IP port 22, public host key, we can leave it there, but private key we have to put something here. The username is Ubuntu. And we don't have password for that. We don't have password for that. And the private key will be a problem here. For the connection, I'm using this private key. But uh, that is, but that is generated by a party. It's a party use a key. We can use this format if you copy in the won't work. So the tool party gen, which is coming from party, you can search online, download it. Um, that's the that one you generate your private key or public key for your SS connection. That's what I'm using. You may use in different program, but it's the same concept. 
we're going to load this private key open and we can export it click conversions export open as such a key and I, we don't want the pass phrase you can put pass phrase there if you want but for the testing purpose we just um, call it pen key save and done then we just um, open it again using notepad and uh, paste in let's go back to portal private key paste the whole thing in save it go back to home Linux now you have another Linux SSH private key connection here connect to it login failed Go back to settings and check the settings. Make sure, make sure the IP address is correct and make sure the username is correct. I should use username OPC to log in. It's because I'm using Oracle Cloud Platform. And let's try it again. Now it works. This is Center OS system, and I'm not using Ubuntu system, that's why username Ubuntu doesn't work at the beginning. Now it's working, so we are using private key login. So the whole process is still very straightforward as long as you know how to log in using a key and how to log in using RTP. One thing I do notice, RTP sometimes doesn't work with some Windows OS system for RTP login. You will find out those error messages to show you all kind of failure and the one thing sometimes the guacamole doesn't work well with Nintendo Windows 2016 even it works well with my both versions but for some reason this one doesn't work and there's some settings you may want to change here so take a look at those if you have same issue, you set it up everything correctly but still couldn't log into your Windows 10, Windows 2016 because some updates you may not apply to it yet. Then you may want to start into tune those two security settings, security layer and the user authentication key. Lower down it to 2 or 1 and it may be working. So give it a try. That's pretty much everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found anything interesting, please give me a thumb up. If you like it, subscribe it to support me. Thank you very much. See you in my next episode.